All right, let's go ahead and complete the quest, The Path of Gluffrey. Uh, it was a pretty good quest. You know, you do need a little bit of requirements to do it, but overall, it was a quick one. And he got some pretty good XP lamps from it, too. For today's video, we are going to be killing 1,000 Warped Tortoise. These are creatures found in the Poison Waste Dungeon beneath the Garlopus Mountains, requiring partial completion of The Path of Gluffrey to kill... You must have crystal chimes in your inventory to fight them, otherwise they will be invulnerable, so keep that in mind. This is the room that I went with for this grind. Uh, it's just a couple ladders down once you enter the cave. It takes about 90 seconds total from the bank to actually reach this area, so it's not too far off. One sip of a stamina at the bank and you'll be here in no time. And we did wear the Slayer helmet just so that the terror birds that attack me while I'm running to this location don't bother me too much. But it is important to note, you don't need a Slayer helm i think i could have gone with a nezi helmet and i did just look at the wiki for a third time and i don't see anywhere about you needing a slayer helm actually worn to kill these tortoises so unless i'm wrong uh, make sure to leave a comment below but otherwise you can just go with any helmet i just stuck with a slayer helm for convenience and i did want to bring a cannon out as well to speed up these 1000 kills i almost never use a cannon on my iron man account uh so i figured i would just use the remainder of the 6000 balls that i had on this video which it worked out well i think i ended up having about 400 balls left at the very end now if you don't want to kill these off task like i was doing then you do need about 56 slayer to get this as a task assignment and you can receive it from cheldar konar neve or steve and duradel since they are 200 hp you get about 200 slayer xp per kill so i'd say it's a pretty good task to get especially uh, if you're going to be cannoning them now about a year ago i did loot from 1000 normal tortoise and i'll show the picture of the loot here on screen sorry it's a little bit blurry but it's just from the actual video it's itself uh, and I will say that the drop tables of the warped and the normal tortoise are very similar. They both are known to drop tortoise shells and perfect shells which aren't really used for that much. If you look at the tortoise shell uh, you can essentially sell them to Barlock and Dorga Shikan for 600 coins and if you look at the perfect shell you can again go to Barlock and Dorga Shikan and get 600 coins and 500 crafting experience so if you do bank a lot of perfect shells this could be a decent way to get a lot of crafting XP but otherwise they're not tradable. And, and as it goes for the normal tortoise shells, they are dropped in a quantity of 1 to 3, and they're looking at about 10k a piece. At least that's what the wiki says. But if we go to the real time price, it looks like they're buying for 5k each. So I am an Iron Man, I'm not going to be going out of my way to collect all these shells, but we will look at the overall amount of shells that we end up with after a thousand kills, and we'll see, you know, you multiply that number by 5,000, it might actually be some decent profit. But that might be temporary profit because tortoise shells, again, aren't really used for much. I'm not sure if anyone collects them or anything like that. So that 5k you might get today might be 500 GP 10 days from now. It's just really hard to say with the daily volume only being about 500 uh, to 1,000. So now we covered the shells. Both of the tortoise dropped them. But uh, one of the things that I love about the warp tortoise is that it drops incredible amounts of alkables, such as the rune kite shield, rune warhammer, rune pickaxe, and the adamant plate body. They also drop adamant axes, but I didn't go out of my way to pick those up. But if you do decide to camp down here, just know that, you know, you should really bring high alks and you can alk all those rune and adamant items and on top of that you're going to be getting noted coal noted adamant ore as well as stackable death earth and mud runes which mud runes are very useful especially uh for the iron man account for things in the future i don't even know what things but i'm sure they'll come in handy for something uh but other than that you know you're going to get a little bit of coin stack here and there 600 coin drops so if you want to bring a ring of wealth it might be worth your while but it really doesn't take much to pick up coins so zerka ring and butte is what i went with i have seen a lot of people run down here and you use a blowpipe on these things uh that's up to you i personally don't like spending the scales or the darts i just figured using a whip with super combats as well as uh preserve on the whole time you can definitely hit a lot on these tortoises and as it goes for the kills per hour i did a full 60 minutes and i was averaging about 140 to 150 kills per hour and 72,000 defense xp per hour as well i was really enjoying this uh very afk to do this task and it wasn't even on task of course but uh, i was still getting decent defense xp and decent drops. Of course, the main drop that I and probably everyone else killing these things were looking for would be the Warped Scepter. And if we look at the wiki page of it, the Warped Scepter is a powered staff and you do need 62 magic to wield it. You can actually get it from Warped Terror Birds as well as Warped Tortoise. Uh, you do need 56 Slayer though. It's actually a fascinating scepter. Basically, if you're level 62 magic, you can hit up to a 16. And if you're 99 magic like me, you can hit up to a 24. So yeah. 
yeah, that and the fact that you need five earth runes and two chaos runes to charge it actually might make it worthwhile. So I don't know, maybe something to look into for the future, but uh, not too sure what I would use it on if I do happen to get it uh, as a drop. But seeing as it's a one in 320 drop, whether you're on task or not, I definitely should get it during this video. Hopefully uh, even get a couple of them. So that'd be nice. But current price of it, I think it's like 130K. I think if you were like the very first one to get it, you might've gotten a couple mil for it. Maybe, I don't know, 10 mil at the most. Not really sure what the first one sold for, but you know how those first items that come into the game, usually there's always a lot of demand for them. But this one, I definitely see stabilizing at around 100K, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And speak of the devil, there he is on the ground right there. Well, that looks like it was 200K at the time of this recording. This was 470 kill count. Uh, this was actually done yesterday afternoon when this quest was released. I apologize that I didn't get the video out last night. I was, uh, my throat, yeah, very, very messed up. It's actually killing me to do this voiceover. That and the fact that there's 10 planes and 25 lawnmowers going at all hours of the day, you know? Oh, it's so frustrating. But it's fine. I got, I got some ice cream, so hopefully that'll help. But anyway, uh, 500 kills into the video so far. And you can see, you know, these earth runes, mud runes, death runes, and the coin stack are all growing. We have some noted cabbage. Um, the original tortoise also dropped noted cabbage, so I guess that's a little lore there. We're accumulating a lot of perfect shells. Um, I actually didn't know that you got 500 crafting XP per these uh, perfect shells until I started uh, this voiceover. I mean, I'm sure I knew, but I must have forgotten. So yeah, I'll probably cash those in the next time I'm nearing a crafting level. That'll be pretty nice to get. Uh, kind of reminds me of long bones with uh, them granting you construction XP. Definitely a cool feature. I love items like that. It's really nice to get free XP when you're just, you know, getting a drop from killing a monster. Other than all this, uh, I was getting a couple gems here and there. You're going to get some uh, swamp dart, which is also stackable. So that's nice. One drop that did stand out uh, would be the Tangled Toad Legs. According to the real-time price, they are about 2.5k each, and they heal about 15 HP, so I wasn't too concerned about obviously selling them since I was getting them on my Iron Man, but I just looked at it as a nice way to extend my trip because although I was protecting melee here, I didn't actually need to. Uh, these tortoises do hit, but they don't hit all the time, and you can definitely stay here for quite a while with just a full inventory of anglerfish and, of course, getting these Tangled Toad Leg drops to eat. Also managed to get two long bones, so that'll be nice for construction, and they do say that they can drop a hard clue. It is considered rare. I'm not sure if the drop rate's actually been released yet, but I had a hard clue in my bank the whole time, and I just now realized. So I apologize for the lack of hard clues in this video. If I had a guess, uh, killing a thousand of these, I might have gotten like, I don't know, three to four, so yeah, do your hard clues. Very important. Either way, though, it was a fun grind. Uh, it took most of the afternoon yesterday and a little bit of the morning today, but I did manage to finish it and I acquired the new staff and got the new quest completed so hey it's you know it's a win all around but let's go ahead and move on to the price check now 1000 warp tortoise have been completed and that yeah, was a fun one very afk very laid back I was able to be on all my accounts while doing this video so I got a lot done and overall a lot of alcables 23 rune kites 13 rune warhammers 13 rune pickaxes one scepter so we didn't get another one after the first but that's okay overall price check 2.5 mil a lot of cabbage uh a lot of interesting drops, a lot of unique things. Very uh, nice drop table for, you know, reasonably uh, leveled monster. Don't really need much requirements to kill it. Just, uh, the, you know, a couple quests here and there. And of course, the minimal slayer level. So that's about it for this one. I did add a little bit of charges into the staff. And if you guys have any advice on what to use uh, this staff for in the comments below, I'll probably do that on my next uh, episode on my Iron Man series. Well, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time today. Uh, that's the overall loot right there on screen. 1,000 warp tortoise, and there's the 1,000 of normal tortoise. So it looks like the warped is definitely the way to go. A big thank you to my YouTube channel members for the monthly support. It helps out so much, and I want to give a special shout out to Matthew Stivers, Deception Z, X Exotic X, and Angel's Blood. Thank you guys so much, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.